is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki guys and today I'll be showing you how you can get back online or signed in to your PSN account after you've done the jailbreak and after you've installed the rebug custom firmware 4.81 so let's go ahead and get started guys so um, go over to your Google and you're gonna type Brology and I'll also leave a link in the description where you can get get to it really fast so scroll go down when you're on this site And this is what we need guys send enabler so just go ahead and click on it and it will bring down this information tab and down here guys is it's one of the most important thing the most important thing you should pay attention to um, a ban a no ban is not guaranteed use with caution so guys go ahead and keep this in mind that this you will get banned even if you use this or you use anything else out there you you are going to get banned eventually so just keep that in mind guys this is just to help you to get back in line and where you can play some games and keep you from not getting banned as quick as possible but you will eventually so go ahead and hit download once it's download guys find that file and copy to your USB stick copy to the root now when that's done guys go ahead and plug your USB stick into your into your PlayStation now guys I will show you that I am running um, 4.81 so let me go over to system settings go down system information and there it is guys 4.81 so let's go back out and let's try signing in right now and there you go a system update is required so let me go back and now guys go to package manager go to install package file go to standard then you'll see the, the send enabler pack pkg file it X and install it after that go back out guys and run the send enabler give it a moment guys now as you can see right here this is a beta test so this is not the full release guys so also keep that in mind so go ahead and hit X and over on the left hand side guys you will see this part hide info you could go in that and you can hide a bunch of stuff from your custom firmware ps3 so you can hide your your apps which is the top one so you you hide the app home only and the second one is pkg you you also hide the package file section and the third one is custom firmware meaning that you can also hide um, your custom firmware and the fourth one is OFW that you can disable everything and your PS3 will look like it is um, running official firmware so I'm not gonna be doing any of these so let's just go back out so over on over on the right hand side now guys this is the part send slash PSN option so it X to enter and the top one says enable or disable send access so it X and you're gonna hit X on the top one that says enable send access it yes and let it do it thing okay so once it's done guys you have to reboot your ps3 so go ahead and hit X for yes
give it time guys let it reboot Now guys, I'll also go to my system information and I'll show you that it actually worked. It, it's going to make the system looks like it's on 4.82. So with this enabled now guys, you can go over to your, to your account and sign up. And there you go guys, I know can able to sign up back on my account and do whatever I want to do online. So if this video have helped you guys, please leave a like, a share, please leave a like, also share and also hit that that subscribe button guys. Thanks for watching guys and see you in my next video.